Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to session five, volume problems, unit six, module three. All right, so today we're going to learn another workplaces game. It's called Introducing Volume Bingo, right? Um, this is a, 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 a game in which uh, if you have a spinner, that's great. If not, go ahead and go into your games and then use one of your dice. Um, you only need one die for this. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about how to play it. Maybe you can print off the game or um, sh play it on Seesaw and um, post you know, the, the win that way or, or loss, either way. Uh, we're going to be doing some problems and investigation with your student book pages, page 242 through 244. So there are actually three pages for us to do. And then when we're all done with this, uh, we have some optional practices of home connections pages, um, not optional, but they are your homework pages for uh, page 127 and 128, and then the daily practice pages um, on page 245. Okay, so we're going to get started by looking at yesterday's work. So go ahead and pause the video, check over your answers, and make the necessary changes that need to be made for your for your workbook. This is your student book. And now, okay, so now we're going to move on to volume bingo. So let's take a look at this. You're going to have one board, okay? And we'll go ahead and show you what that board looks like. Uh, you'll each need a board and a record sheet. You could also use this record sheet can also be your notebook if you want. All right, you're going to decide who's going to go first, who's going to go second. All right. Um, if you're able to use the spinner, you're gonna you're gonna spin it twice. You're gonna spin like let's say you spin a three and then you spin a two, and then your goal is to find any third number that you can multiply or at least use to find the volume um, to result in a volume of one of the numbers on your bingo board. Okay, um, then you're gonna just continue to go back and forth. Um, have your partners check the other work and um, then uh, do what you're doing until, or I'm sorry, don't do what you're doing, but continue to alternate your turns until one person has ended up with four in a row. Okay, uh, remember, it, oh, I'm sorry, five in a row. Uh, you have to cover five spaces, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Um, just make sure that they are connected, okay? So um, let's take a look at what that might look like. There's your record sheet and there's your bingo board. All right, um, we will play with this board. This is the challenge board, which um, we'll put up online for you if that's something that you wanna do. Um, you're not able to use a dice for this, obviously, because you have a two, eight, nine, uh, 12 and 15. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to spin twice. I first spun a five and then I'll spin a six, which five times six is 30. Now I'm going to put my free spot in because I like to do that on all my bingo boards when I play, but then, um, I need to think of a third number that I'm going to um, multiply by my base. I have to find the height number um, that will equal one of the digits or, or one of the numbers that are in my bingo board. So I'm going to choose six times five is 30, 30 times two. So I will go there. Okay, so then my partner, and now 60 is off my board, I'm not able to use it, and my partner is going to go. All right, I can roll a die the same way. Just don't use a one. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'd go back here. I would then uh, write with the tool. I believe one of these is a row. Nope, that's a cover sheet. Oh, there it is. I would then go ahead and write the numbers that I spun. I was spun a six and I spun a five. And then the number I chose was a two. So my volume was 30. Nope, it wasn't 30. It was 60, right? It was 60 units Q. 
cubed because I'm unsure of what I'm actually measuring it. And is it feet? Is it yards? Is it acres? Is it um, millimeters? I don't know. Uh, but my equation is going to be a six by five, right? By two. All right. Any questions with that? If if you do, go ahead and contact your teacher, but make sure you're recording all of your work and making sure that you totally understand the volume. All right. So now what we're going to have you do is open up to your student book, pages 242 to 244. I'll just move this thing out of the way. All right. So you'll have some work with volume. Okay. Um, you're, you'll just answer various questions, making sure that you get through these three pages. Uh, I also have answers located on the next couple slides. So once you get done with the 12 questions, feel free to then play the video, pause the video, and check your answers as you go. Okay. So I'm going to come on back here. I'm going to, we're going to do the first one together. It says there's a volume of a rectangular prism that's 140 cubic centimeters. So this whole thing is 140 cubic centimeters. The area uh, of the base of the um, prism is 20 centimeters. So the base, so this times this is 20 centimeters. It says, do I have enough information to find out what the height of the prism is? If not, what information do you need? Well, I do kind of have the information needed, right? Because when I, when I fill out or when I figure out it's base times height equals volume, I know, I know many of these. I know some of these numbers. I know that my base is 20 centimeters, right? I'm not so sure as to what my height is, but I do know that it says up here that my volume of that rectangular prism is 140 centimeters cubed. Now, let's stretch that out just a little bit. So how do I figure that out? How do I figure out the height, right? So the only thing I have to do is divide 20 into 140, and that's going to give me my answer, right? Did you get that answer? Do you know what the answer is? I hope you said 7. I'm sure you did. You're pretty smart. So my answer is 7, all right? Because um, 20 times 7 is 140 centimeters cubed. So I did have enough information to figure out what the height was. Um, but just go ahead and use this information. Um, understand we're figuring out volume. We're taking the base times the height. And for the base, we need two numbers. We need a length and a width. And then from there, we need the height. All right. Um, again, you have three pages to finish. Once Pause the video once we're done talking and finish your uh, three pages, 242 to 244, and then play the video again. Check over your answers. Uh, if you are having any issues or any trouble, uh, contact your teacher and they will help you through anything that you might, any of the issues that you might be having. All right. Here are the answers to the pages. All right, congratulations. I'm sure you did a really nice job. I know I flipped through those. Uh, if you did not pause the video, I know I, I flipped through the video or the answers pretty quickly. So just pause the video, go back, uh, rewind, and uh, check your answers. Make the changes that need to be made. When you're done, go ahead and play another round of bingo or try one of the other games that we, that we learned. I really like the Polygon Search kind of like battleship game. Um, your homework today are his home connections, page 127 and 128. You also have your daily practice, which is in your student book, page 245. And other than that, you're all done. If you don't have any questions, or if you do have any questions, contact your teacher as soon as possible, and they will be in contact with you to answer any of the questions that you have. Um, if you don't have any questions, 
and you did pretty well in this lesson. Congratulations. Um, have a great day and enjoy math.